Hello everyone, welcome back to another FoxTech video and in this one I'm gonna guide you through the process of blocking group chats on your Apple Watch. So if you're tired of constant notifications from the group chats and everything, I'm gonna show you your options. The good news is that you can block numbers directly from your Apple Watch. This method works well for single texts and individual contacts, but it should apply to group chats as well, at least in a secondary way. So let's dive into the steps you need to follow. At first, you want to navigate to the message thread you wish to block. So open the Messages app on your Apple Watch and find the group chat that you no longer want to receive notifications from or you don't want to be part of anymore. Once you're in the chat, scroll down to the very bottom and tap on details. And in the details section, you'll need to scroll all the way down until you find the option to block contact. Now, this is where you can block individual numbers. I mean, it's been tested with single tags and spam messages, and it works efficiently to block those unwanted interruptions. For group chats, the process is similar but it requires a little bit more effort. Since there isn't a single option to block the entire group chat, you'll need to block each number one by one. So you can go through the list of contacts in the group chat and for each contact, scroll down, select the block contact and that way you can ensure that you will not receive messages from the group chat anymore. By following these steps, you can effectively do that, but obviously, that is if you don't want to touch your iPhone, but in case you want to be, you want to like, obviously the Apple Watch is the extension of the iPhone. So everything that happens on the phone is reflected on your wrist. So in case you want to leave a group chat, just go to your iPhone, go to the messages and leave it there. It's pretty simple. There isn't much to do there, but like, yeah, if you want to do it specifically on the watch, this is the method to do so. So hope you found this tutorial helpful. In case you have some additional questions or something, just let me know down below in the comments. I would love to answer that, but that's about it. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later. <laughs>